If you're in manufacturing and mass production in particular, well, you know what a coordinate measuring machine is. But when was the last time you stood inside a CMM? I'm with Peter Martinez from Creaform. Peter, we are literally standing inside a very large CMM. Yes, Jim, it's quite large. This You are inside the QBAR 3D scanning CMM from Creaform, which is effectively a non-contact laser scanning based metrology machine that can take effectively a 10 by 10 foot part that weighs up to about 3,000 pounds and digitize it very quickly and to an accuracy of about three thousandths of an inch over a large scanning volume. Now, we're not by any means completely replacing your traditional contact CMM for ultra precision measurements, but for at line or near line metrology, the QBAR and the Metroscan R off which it is based are a great tool for uh, manufacturers needing just-in-time QC. Yeah, Peter, traditional CMM technology is based on tombstone technology. It's a very, very large, super rigid slab of rock that doesn't shift very much and you sort of index off that as a base plate. In this case, what we're looking at here is a steel enclosure. We have relatively lightweight fixturing and we have a FANUC robot moving the scanning head. None of these things are sort of that rigid giant block of metal that we associate with CMMs. Sure, in fact not. And uh, you may wonder why we have these reflective targets on the Metroscan 750's head here. And in fact, these are your vibrational compensation. So instead of having a steel plate, a, a tombstone, a heavy granite block that's difficult to move, we use an optical tracker mounted overhead here in the Q-Bar to maintain a positional reference of both the fixture on which the, uh, the part is mounted and the scanning head itself and locking them into a triangular reference. And that effectively takes care of that need for a tombstone based approach. Now in the setup, is, is the fixture absolutely locked in this position? Is it possible to configure this cell in different ways depending on the part? Yes, so what we'll provide you is effectively a naked tool plate that is forklift mountable or you could use an overhead hoist to bring things into the Q bar. We give you a bolt circle, we can assist you with uh, fixture design, but effectively any fixture can be mounted uh, to this rotational seventh axis and therefore you know, accommodating casted parts, uh, stamp metal, anything that effectively will fit in the machine. Now, in traditional manufacturing, as I remember it, uh, temperature compensation was a major problem. That the shop floor it might be hot or cold. Quality QC lab, of course, is carefully temperature controlled. What environment will this work in? So this is designed uh, for shop floor metrology, both from a vibrational uh, compensation perspective and also we have temperature compensation in our equipment. Um, so they, there is a uh, equilibration that's done with the optical trackers to ensure that we are viewing the fixture and the scanning head in the proper reference relative to the conditions of the room. In this case, we're looking at a large auto part. This is a side pallet at the same time. Uh, this, there's a lot of information, a lot of data will come out of a part of this size down there. How fast can you scan it? So this part here covering all features and datums that we need to uh, acquire is about 250 seconds. So it's, we're taking about 500,000 measurements per second as we have 14 laser lines crossing to uh, quite, create quite a wide field of view to be honest with you. And effectively then we can push into an inspection software like maybe Polyworks or Metrologic, both of which can power the cube and provide you that deliverable and inspection report that you or your end user customer as a tier one would need. Temperature and vibration compensated large part metrology from Creoforms, says Peter Martinez.